Hi, this is Jenny Walker from DigiGoods and Printables ELA. Welcome to Section 3 of my essay writing workshop, Gathering Evidence. If you've stumbled upon this video from YouTube, you can find a link for this workshop in the description. So it might seem a little early to start gathering evidence, but there's a good reason to gather some evidence now. Gathering some preliminary evidence before you begin writing will ensure that your topic is debatable and that there's plenty of evidence to support your claim. It is not uncommon for students to begin writing a paper and later realize that there really isn't enough evidence to support their claim. And often they have to scrap all of their hard work and start over. So let's prevent that. The good news is you've already started this process when you began gathering your reasons in the last workshop. So for this workshop, we're just going to go a little bit deeper. Let's talk about evidence. What is evidence? In argumentation, evidence refers to facts, documentation, or testimony used to strengthen a claim, support an argument, or reach a conclusion. In other words, Evidence is the information that proves your point. Let's look at the three main types of evidence that you can use in your, in your essay. Scroll down to approximately slide 30. For me, it's slide 30. It might be a little bit different for you. The three main types of evidence are facts, statistics, and quotes, also known as testimony. So let's break this down. Number one, a fact is something that has been proven. Here's an example. According to the official, official government website on bullying, www.stopbullying.gov, most kids are bullied in middle school and the effects may last well into adulthood or forever. This is a very reputable site, so we know that this is a proven fact. Number two, a statistic is a fact that is represented by numbers. It can be a number represented um, that proves a point. For example, the CDC reports smoking causes 480,000 deaths per year in the United States. And number three, a quote or a testimony is a valid statement made by an expert in this matter. An expert is somebody who has studied this issue, who maybe has a license or credentials in this area and is a known expert. This could be directly cited in your paper or paraphrase, which means put into your own words, as long as you give credit to this person or to the source. Here's an example. According to Dr. Norton from the American Society of Pediatrics, children who are exposed to lead paint suffer from slower brain functioning. Notice that credit is given to Dr. Norton from the American Society for Pediatrics. So now that you know the three main types of evidence, it's time for you to begin gathering your evidence. On these slides, you'll notice that there is a place to gather evidence for body paragraph number one, in which you will gather evidence for your first reason, there's a slide to gather evidence for body paragraph number two, for which you will gather evidence for your second reason, and a place for body paragraph number three to gather evidence for your third reason. Now you may not see all of these slides. Maybe your teacher is gonna have you write a three paragraph essay in which you will only have one body paragraph which would mean your paper would have an introduction, one body paragraph, and a conclusion. Or maybe you're going to have two reasons in your thesis, and you're going to write a four paragraph essay, which will give you a, an introduction, two body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Maybe you will see this slide. Number three, to gather enough evidence for body paragraph number three. You'll just work with whatever your teacher has assigned to you. On each of these slides, you have several sticky notes, places to gather plenty of evidence, but you may not use all of this evidence. Some people like to gather a lot of evidence and then later go back and choose only the strongest 
uh, pieces of evidence that they want to use in their paper. A strong paragraph will have two to four pieces of evidence. If you get too many pieces of evidence, it can get very confusing. Also notice the gold star on this slide, which indicates that later you'll be able to come back when you're putting your full essay together and copy and paste these pieces of evidence. So you can come up here and just copy the evidence that you've already gathered and paste it into your paragraph and then later into your full essay. Finally, as you're gathering evidence, it's a really good idea to keep track of your sources. You may need to go back and look at them later. You might want to go back and just get clarification, or maybe you need to uh, figure out more that you want to say about it, so you might want to read more from that source. So a good idea is to use this slide to keep track of your URLs. You can paste them in or type them in and add a little note so that you will know what each of these things are. And then later as you're writing your essay, if you need to go back to reference or to give credit to the source, it'll be really easy to find your, your sources. Okay, so for now, that is all we're going to do with our evidence. We're going to leave it sit for a while, and we'll come back to it later when we're ready to build our body paragraphs. That concludes this section of the workshop. Next up, we'll work on building a killer thesis statement. Once again, if you've stumbled upon this video from YouTube, you can find a link to the workshop in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Teachers Pay Teachers for more great digital workshops. I'm Jenny Walker from DigiGoods and Printables ELA, and I'll see you in the next video.